statement. We have arrived too late. The target has evaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. We have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again.
irritated that quick clarification unnecessary. Yes, have you come with questions? Something up? Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you. 
again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students curious? You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face, and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches.
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? Why? Because you turned your back on us. And the Order. You followed Revan to war against the Mandalorians. The very war that made Revan a Lord of the Sith and ruined you. So you said, so long ago. I didn't believe it then, and I don't believe it now. You sought adventure. You hungered for battle. You could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I have kept it, so I would never forget. Indeed, a lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach, but I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you, yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Of course I was. But the Jedi teachings require we examine how we may best help them. Action without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite.
A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Th Do not twist my words. A physical victory is not the only victory or the only loss. You do not know... How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave and Malachor V is where you should have died. It will never be over for either of us, but it is useless to argue with a fool such as yourself. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? No. Your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds, devastated by the Sith, will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. I have not known you since you left to serve Revan in the Mandalorian Wars. The only question that remains is how far you have fallen. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me, where did you encounter them? Paragus? What would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. You offer your aid after turning your back on me, on the Council. The Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. Perhaps. But if you help me, 
It cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust. Perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy, and the feelings of others, can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please... Do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Why have you approached me? You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. You may ask... The mistress? What of her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order. And through them, the galaxy. We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet, Atris has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atris has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you, Exile. That is unknown to me. I have never observed Atris to teach Jedi, nor would I wish to. Atris has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. She predicted you would say as much. She seems to know you quite well. Perhaps 
You are the one who knows nothing. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Oh yes, we train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements, or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Then let us begin. You may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. Have you returned to fight again? Seek one of us out when you wish to fight. Have you returned to fight again? Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish, but use no other items or Jedi techniques. Then let us begin.
If you wish, you may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. Have you returned to fight again? Seek one of us out when you... Have you returned to fight again? Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items. And you may use whatever technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt to defeat me. In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. Seek one of us out when you...
Have you returned to fight again? Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on... In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. Then let us begin. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item, weapon, or Jedi technique you wish. We shall match it. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. Have you returned to fight again? There is nothing more that we can... If that is what you wish, we shall see. Use whatever item... Then let us begin. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos, so all that will break will be your pride. Our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. We fight as one when we are five, not six. And that number should be enough for this lesson. Very well. We shall begin. This will teach you. There shall be no more matches, no more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared.
Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. left its marks. Be warned, unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force Curious. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. Very well. Let us depart. Ah. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? Of course, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. Have you approached me? Hey, do all these women look alike? <laughs> Not like I'm complaining, I mean, it's... Well, it's interesting. They are Ichani. It is not unusual for their children to share similar features from the same parents. If you have a reason for approaching me, speak it. Your ship is stored in the hangar. Adris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. You may ask... This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. It survived the orbital bombardment of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. So, Atris resides within the frozen heart of this world. That is a peculiar way of seeing it, but 
It can be described by such an abstract, yes. Shortly before the destruction of Dantooine by the forces of the traitor Jedi Malik, Atrus had many Jedi artifacts and knowledge transported here secretly. Even the Sith prefer life prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. It was a place where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. The Jedi Council sensed it, Master Vrook, Master Vandar, but it was too late to do much except make arrangements for evacuation. It was a dark day for the Order. Many on Dantooine did not survive, Jedi or not. Atris would not speak for many days after the attack. And we feared our mistress was lost to us. In time, she regained her voice and her strength. She brought the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi here and has kept them safe. Yes, many relics from Dantooine. Some which predate even the destruction of Ossus. She was not able to save all, but she saved enough. If these relics predate Ossus, then she has saved much knowledge and much of the Jedi teachings. She was able to bring them here before the Academy's destruction. It was a fortunate thing. She was not able to save everything. Viewing the relics is not allowed without Atrus's permission. There is truth in what you say. Yet many such artifacts are sealed away in Atrus's chambers. But if you wish to see a few of them, speak to the last of the Handmaidens. She has seen some of these objects and has an interest in such things. Yes, she should be in the training chamber to the north and west of here. She constantly seeks to improve herself so that she may no longer be ranked last among us. Because she is easily distracted by matters that do not concern her or her duty. Such distractions weaken her and she knows this. I will not speak of them. Ask her yourself. If it matters to you. You may ask. We serve the Jedi. And we watch. Atrus is the only Jedi here. This is true. But the Mistress will bring others in time. It is possible, but if so... Your road of atonement shall be a long one. I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess, we are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atrus's will should it be necessary. Atrus believes the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. The Jedi have long since lacked anyone to judge their actions and provide support should their power corrupt them. We are this strength. The Jedi Civil War proved that the Jedi are in need of such guidance. It is our duty to watch for aggression, rage, passion, and end it before it takes root. It is not harsh. It is necessary. A crude way of describing our duty, but in a sense, yes. I would have struck you down as you entered this place. If Atrus had not stayed my hand, though you are not a Jedi, you have been sickened in Revan's service. If for a moment I felt you could bring harm to Atrus or this place, then I would end you. Atrus is trusted. She has watched Jedi rise and fall and knows the ways of both paths to see the signs when they begin. She is a worthy one to judge the Jedi when the Jedi refuse to judge their own. And therein lies her strength. We have known Atrus many years, and she has shown much wisdom.
Atris is the only Jedi here, this is true, but the Mistress will bring others in time. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. You are the Exile, the one Atris warned us about. I am the last of the Handmaidens, this is correct. I train so that one day, that will no longer be true. I know a little of them, yes. Much Jedi knowledge is stored here. Secrets of their teachings, combat styles, and discipline. The Jedi relics are kept by Atris, within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. Atris has made her orders on the matter clear, and she says you are no Jedi. Entry to her meditation chamber is forbidden. To even ask shows you doubt my loyalty to her. Most come from Dantooine, brought here before the academy there was destroyed by Malak. Not all relics were able to be saved, for there was not time to rescue them all. I... I have seen a few of them. Yes, they were not always in Atris's meditation chamber. There were many relics, among them small cubes, warm to the touch, each containing their own light. Jedi holocrons, yet warm to the touch, you said? Yes, and with a light about them. When held, some would speak, ask strange questions. Yes, their questions were confusing. They seemed to think I was someone else, someone's student. Ah, of course they did. 
A simple misunderstanding, no doubt. I had thought perhaps I had damaged them in some way, but I could not think of what I had done. You may ask. She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That is not all, she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atris says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him, because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. Perhaps, it may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear, these are pure moments of expression. You may ask. I know a little of... The Jedi relics are kept by Atris within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. There is no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may ask. I am aware of this. I do not doubt your combat prowess, as my half-sisters do. There are many who went to war against the Mandalorians, and few returned. You were one of them. honor the face of my mother. I do not wish to discuss it. If there is something else you wish to ask, you may do so. You may ask. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know. It is like a cloud, 
amidst the drifts from living creature to creature, set in motion by currents and eddies. It is the eye of the storm, the passions of all living things turned into energy, into a chorus. It is the rising swell at the end of life, the promise of new territories and new blood, the call of new mysteries in the dark. I see. Thank you both. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. Curious thing. Did she? Perhaps it is a meditation chamber of some sort. Let us keep moving. There is nothing more to be gained here. What is it? 